It's national meets regional. It's sidewalks entertainment. The long running celebrity. Music. And art series. Join us for a new path to arts and entertainment. Hey there, welcome to Sidewalks, the entertainment project. Raphael Siegel here, and we're joined right now by one of the most beautiful women in primetime television. She plays Nikki Sanders on uh, NBC's hit series, Heroes. Of course, I'm talking about Allie Larder. Allie, welcome back to Sidewalks. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Now, I say, and we were talking about this before we started rolling, I say welcome back because we did have you uh, on the show when you were at WonderCon, so we appreciate you uh, uh, joining us for a repeat Hi. performance. Absolutely. Now, before we get into some red carpet affairs, and that might sound a little scandalous to some people, but it keeps people watching. Uh, we want to learn a little bit more about you. Now, you were a model before you started acting. You started in your early teens. Then you transitioned into acting. Did you find that you had to work a little bit harder uh, at acting to prove that maybe you weren't just another pretty face? Um, you know, I never thought about it that way. I just always loved acting. And when, you know, when I went to my first class and first got it, my first chances to really explore that, it was just a time for me that you know, it just really felt like it fit. It felt like it was the first place I could find to express myself. And, you know, I just, I love the fact that I get to do what I love and make a career at it at the same time. Now, you, uh, people know you, of course, now from Heroes, but you starred in Legally Blonde, yeah. and you were in Final Destination, and uh, Varsity Blues. How have you changed as a person since entering the business? Not at all, not at all. I'm just a good old Jersey girl. You know, I love to cook. I love to go hiking with my dogs. Um, I love to hang out with my friends. I'm just pretty kind of a simple girl who likes basic things. I was talking to someone who was a fan of yours yesterday, and uh, I was saying that you remind me of like a cool college chick. <laughs> now, here's what I mean by that. Like, you'll see a, a hot girl in college, you'll say, man, yeah. she's unapproachable, and, and, and I would never be able to talk to her. Then you come up to them and go, hey, you want to play some pool? Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so is that the biggest... I love to have fun. I love to laugh. Is that the biggest misconception about you, that maybe you are a little bit standoffish? Or that I hope that people you? don't think that. I mean, I'm just, you know, I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve, and I try to really, you know, have a great time in life and be kind. So I hope that people don't think that. <laughs> no, they don't. I'm sure they don't. Now, how are you going to stay grounded uh, as your star rises? And how are you um, not going to take family, this business for family, definitely. I, you know, I have a sister who's a third grade teacher, and you know, she's kind of given her life to teach the youth of America. So for me, it's like whenever I talk to her, you know, it really keeps me grounded in you know, kind of what's really important in this world. Now let's uh, fast forward. Uh, you're 89 years old, yeah. And you're accepting. I, you can't even imagine that. And you're accepting <laughs> the Lifetime Achievement Award for uh, your work in entertainment. Uh, what do you want people to say about you? All I know is that you are a kind, kind man to think that that's in my future. You are my kind of guy. <laughs> I'm an optimist. I'm optimistic. <laughs> I just hope that they said that I laughed all the way along. <laughs> well, that's nice and short. It'll be the shortest uh, speech in history. Now, here's Ali Larder, though. Wheel, wheel you on stage. Uh, all right, so the red carpet. You're obviously yeah. a veteran of the red carpet. And, and I, I don't understand what you need to do to get ready for it. Okay. Because to me... You just roll out of bed, you get a cheeseburger, you throw on a dress, and you walk See, right to the event. See, that's what the boys think. That's what the boys think. <laughs> but, you know, I'm really excited about the Emmys this year because I'm partnering with Dove Hair Care to encourage women to love the hair they have. And they came to me when they found out I was going to the Emmys to see if I'd be willing to kind of take a stand for real beauty and go real on the red carpet. Mm. So that means I'm going to do my own hair. I'm going to use like Dove conditioner, make sure it's in the best, you know, kind of shape possible. I'm not going to use any hairstylists. And then I'm going to go and rock the red carpet because it's important for women who see these images on television and in different magazines to know that sometimes there's a team of stylists that spend hours creating those looks. Sure. And what we're trying to do here is, you know, show women that you can embrace what you have, take care of your hair, and then you can look and feel great. You know what I think? I think you need to highlight it all on video. Are you going to do that? I don't know. We'll see. I think that they're going to get me in some areas. No, I think you should because I don't think people are going to believe it. They're going to go, come on, she didn't do that herself. She had a it's team just, of people. You know, fashion and hair and all that should be fun. You know, and for me, I'm kind of taking it as a challenge too because it's easy to get caught up in this world of having people do your hair and makeup and styling. And there's something really fresh to me about paring it down. 
What is something about the red carpet that maybe we don't get to see? I know there are like three million cameras going and yeah. this sort of thing, but maybe there's something that we don't see. The limo ride there, you know, the time beforehand. What happens? Give us a little well, insight. Well, I think this year we're rocking Priuses because it's going to be an environmentally friendly Emmys. Uh -huh. And, you know, one of the things that when you're walking on the carpet, it's to me, it's just you wouldn't believe the energy that's there. I mean, people are shouting your name. They're taking pictures of you from all angles. And you just have to turn it on and go for it. <laughs> I love it. That's what you're all about. Yeah. Now, uh, one person who will probably be watching you on the red carpet is a young lady uh, from the UK who emailed me a question to ask you because we're all oh. about connecting the viewers and the guests. And uh, she's from the UK. I don't know exactly where. And she didn't send me her name probably to keep herself safe, I guess. And uh, okay. she wants to know what was your proudest moment of your career so far? Proudest moment of my career. Um, you know, I'll tell you, I just got back from doing an Asian world tour for the mm -hmm. show. And for me to be able to get one on one with the fans and people that watch the show, that go on, that blog about it, that go on the websites and create it, that to me is what really inspires me. So I think to be part of something that I really love working on and to have people really love watching it is kind of the ultimate combination. So I'd say this time in the season of Heroes is definitely, you know, it's been amazing. Also, she might be an inspiring actress, I don't know, because she wants to know uh, what advice you would give uh, someone who's serious about acting, who maybe doesn't have a lot of opportunity be to do it. Be yourself. I think it's so easy to want to fit into a box or mold in what you think someone wants you to be. Mm -hmm. And I think that the best actors and people that really make it are people that try to be true to who they are. So I think it's about not following what's cool or what's that, but being who you are and really embracing what's cool and true about you. See, I love, that's what we love about you. You're all natural, you're all there, and uh, I still haven't received my invitation uh, to the <laughs> Emmys. I, I may, maybe got lost in the mail. Uh, where should I meet you? I don't know. <laughs> Red I'm sure carpet, baby. <laughs> I'm sure you're getting that from everybody. Well, you know what? We love you on Heroes. We love you on everything you do, and we wish you all the best of luck. We will be watching you. you on the red carpet, wherever you are, and uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Thank Allie Larder, you so thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us again yeah. here on Sidewalks. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.